Hey there, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to do a little video on another little uh, tool, a uh, quote toy that I got. Uh, you know, I've been working on uh, this rifle, getting it set up. And so I had one piece that was missing. If you seen that last video I did on this rifle, uh, you see what I was waiting to buy. And I finally uh, pulled the trigger. No pun intended. And finally bought it. But anyway, that's a red dot on there. I've had that. I bought that thing in Walmart about four, well, at least six years ago. And you can't tie it up. It's a true grow, I believe. I've had it on shotguns and different rifles, but you can't tie it up. Uh, I went. I went and uh, online. Uh, I emailed a uh, company that sells this product. Uh, the next city over, uh, but they still hadn't replied to my email. I went online and saw another video from a place called Fall River Shooting, F-A-L-L -L, River Shooting, and uh, they had a great video on there showing what I wanted, and uh, it made up my mind. <clears throat> then I also went to their website, and uh, they were out of state, <clears throat> so that means I didn't have to pay tax and then they also had free shipping and then they also had um, an extra battery, an external battery, that, a rechargeable battery and so <clears throat> that made my decision uh, to buy it out of state uh, the communication uh, the price was the same everywhere when they had the extra battery they had the uh, free freight and then uh, the tax deal so save over two hundred dollars in taxes so let's look in this box and see what's in here Okay. Hey, what's that in that box? Man, Santa a little late, but we definitely bring what you want. Just gotta be good. Uh, also, uh, I picked this company as well. I didn't know they were gonna do it, but when the uh, owner or one of the salesmen realized what gun I had, it was talking about some people have trouble getting the uh, sight picture or <clears throat> getting up close to the scope. So they sent me this right here, this uh, Picatinny rail to help get a little bit more eye relief and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to try it, put it on the gun, try it, and then uh, if I need it, I'll come back and get it. So <clears throat> see what this is? It's a Rattler TS-35-384. And uh, it's a thermal scope, that's what it is. So we're gonna pull it out the box here. Let's see what all goodies come with it, okay? Like I said, the, the, the seller was nice enough to throw one of those in here. Definitely gotta buy something else from them. I'll get online and check them out. Let's look here. Oh, let's open this box. I've already cut the tape on it. <coughs> okay, so it comes with a real nice case. That's not too bad. Okay, and I have no idea what that is. That has a little Picatinny rail on it. That may be something that you can mount to put the external battery on. I don't know, but we'll see. But those two items was in the box. I don't know what they are. Okay, let's go over here to the good stuff here. So he's already went above and beyond what most retailers here do. So I'm very impressed. So anything else? It's just an add-on bonus uh, that they put in here. So, okay. We've got two little zippers here. <coughs> All right. Yeah. Of course, that's a warranty card quality statement. So, if we don't read. And, uh, oh, this deal, this deal about the warranty and the support. Stuff we don't read until we have a product. Uh, got a lens cloth. And then it has, uh, looks like it's got probably two cables in there. One of them is a, a magnetic cable, and then it has a little tool in it, a little Allen wrench. I guess that's to put the pick, pick tenny rail on it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what that is. Got two little cables in there. So let's see what's in here. That's a nice little case. 
I like the way that opens. Very protective in shipping. There it is. Got the AMD mount. There's a lot of reviews online, so I'm not going to review all the features on here. But that's the way it came out of the box. At least that's the way mine's came. Uh, fits in my hand. I'm a, <clears throat> I'm a 5'11", about 190 pounds. So that kind of gives you an idea uh, what size my hands are. I don't know. But <clears throat> there it is. So, okay. Let's see what's else in this box. Got a little strap. Okay. Well, that's a good deal. Little strap. Alright, that just folds out the way. And uh, so this is one of the items that helped make my mind to buy it. Uh, the external battery, rechargeable battery. And uh, it's got a lock and mount on it. <coughs> Fit on a candy rail. So we'll uh, try that out. See what happens. Let's see what's this in here. Okay. Here's something else to help start a fire. Stuff that we're not going to read. I'll throw that over to the side. Whoa, man. Look at here. Look how many batteries they sent. They take the uh, CR123A. Wow, he sent me a lot of batteries. Let's count. Uh, <coughs> I went to a public school, so you have to excuse my counting of them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, they sent me 12 batteries. <coughs> and I'm not a hunter. I'm just going to kill some hogs on the property, so I don't know if I need that many or not. But anyway, uh, there's a washer for something. Might have to look in the manual and find out what that is. I don't know why they sent that, but anyway, that's a washer. And then uh, here's a cable that you can hook up. It's got a 90 degree end on it, so that's what that is. Okay, that's pretty much everything in the case, so <clears throat> real nice case if you want to use it for something else I use it when I put a scope on a rifle I don't ever take it off so uh, that's just one of those things <clears throat> all right so this is a nice setup here uh, I've already got uh, they send two batteries at CO123 I guess they're standard from AGM and they're white but these here are the surefire and I like these because I use them in my Caltech light that I carry in my pocket hey YouTube uh, finally got the uh, scope uh, mount it to the rifle that we're going to try it on first uh, has these hoppies uh, gun rack deal cleaning tool or whatever caddy it's not that good probably should have bought a Tempton Tempton or bought one that has adjustment uh, this is not really holding the rifle like I want it but anyway we're going to make it work see what the hit is just in case it's somebody interested uh, that'll kind of show you how long it is oh almost about eight inches and then uh, put the diameter oh, we'll go from the rail deal so diameter a little over about three and a half so it's not that bad or a size it's smaller than you think when you take a look at it so that's just I wanted to run a tape measure on it to see and like I said if you put your hand over it it's pretty a very uh, light weight 
So I just wanted to add that to it. Hey guys, all right, I'm finna uh, close this video, but I do have some cons about the uh, AGM. Uh, the, the cables are too short. They look, should at least be 18 inches. So you, this is a USB on one end and then it has a magnet on the other that you hook up to the uh, scope. And the idea is if you're out in the field or the brush and it just pops off. But you, but you can use this to transfer the photos and the videos from the camera to your computer. So it's really too short. It should have been at least a minimum of 18 inches. This is another one. If you take the magnet off the scope, it has a USB-C, I believe is what that is, on that end. But, the, but that, they're just too short. Uh, but, you know, that can be remedy. You can go down to the store and buy a long one. But uh, that's something AGM uh, probably should have took a look at. But also, this one looks like it's pretty decent. They give you a third cable, and it's got a 90 degree on it. So it's got a 90 degree on it. And uh, so some people like using that instead of the magnet uh, to plug into it when you're out in the brush or whatever. So the other thing, I think they could have done a better job with making it more sleek. When you, uh, the other pet peeve is you always have to take the batteries out to uh, transfer the photos and stuff. You have to take these two batteries out. So I may switch over and just only use the, uh, only use the external battery. You charge it up by a USB port. That's what I may do. But also, if you got the magnet gone, your cover stays open. You know, like they could have done a recess. It's not a deal breaker. But you can see that little flap stays open. But it's not a deal breaker. But uh, those are part of the only uh, cons that I have. I've got it sitting back this far because it gives me perfect eye relief uh, with these trifocal glasses. So I have perfect eye relief with that. But other than that, uh, I think AGM knocked it out the park. If they just had longer cables, made this a little bit more streamlined. Uh, I'm not going to be in that kind of brush where it's going to rub. But uh, when I had it on the table trying to uh, transfer the video and the uh, pictures, I noticed that. So that's something that they can work on, not a problem. But if you check out uh, Fall River Shooters, check out Fall River Shooters on YouTube. Got some good videos. Then you can check the online store, okay? All right, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Share it with your friends. Thanks.